How many times has this happened to you? You're browsing the internet for your favorite Pokemon card and you find it and it's a great price and the person says, hey, send me some money and I'll send it to you. And then next thing you know, they blot you, you have no Pokemon card and now you're out, let's say $100. Well, instead of opening up any Pokemon cards because I had enough rage in the last video, I decided to give you my top tips as to how to be avoided, how to avoid being scammed, um, because there are a lot of fucking scumbags out there, and they will do anything to get your money. It, it doesn't matter what they do. It could be like five dollars. It could be a hundred dollars. I've seen it all. So follow these tips, and hopefully you guys can save yourself the trouble and headache later down the road. And before we begin. Uh, if you guys could like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then let me know down below if you guys are new to the hobby, if you've been doing this for years, and if these tips actually, you know, helped you in a purchase, uh, either in the past or hopefully in the future. So. My first tip is when you're on your, if you just join a Pokemon group, I'll, I'll, now it's getting better where usually the moderators will step in and they won't allow a post. But say you're not on Facebook, say you're on like another third party site. And the first thing you really want to do is look for a timestamp. Um, that's the biggest thing. They could, anybody could take a picture off of any website and be like, yeah, hey, I have this card totally in my possession. And it could look great. The condition could be awesome. Um, so yeah, ask them for a timestamp if there isn't one. If they can't give you a timestamp, move the fuck on because most likely they're gonna give you some bullshit excuses of why they can't do it, why they don't have it. Um, so say there is a timestamp and you know it looks fine. Honestly, you want to make sure. There's also a lot of dirt bags out there who will Photoshop the timestamp. Um, hopefully, I can find an example and I'll show it to you because some of them are really bad. Like it's very obvious that they had just kind of like typed their name on a white piece of paper. And you know, it sometimes it can look really bad. So really look for a Photoshop timestamp. Um, and then the last part, if you are looking at a timestamp, make sure that it's uh, a pretty relatively new timestamp. Like if it's like, say it's like March 3rd and the timestamp says January 31st, yeah, I, I would maybe ask for an updated timestamp. Um, and again, if they can't give it to you, just avoid that person altogether because most likely they're gonna try to take your money and run. Say you're on Facebook and you find the card and there's a timestamp and it looks all right. Um, another big indication is to when that Facebook profile was made. Um, that's a huge red flag. Uh, if it's like, say, within the same month that you're, you're looking at, um, I would try to maybe see if anybody else has done any business with this person. Um, I know sometimes that there's a rare occurrence, like, hey, they just joined Facebook in general, but honestly, if, if it's like a very new profile picture and it's like not even their profile picture, it's like an obscure just Pokemon card looking profile picture, um, that can be a red flag as well. Um, you know, it's just kind of stay away from those things. It could be a fake account for all you know. I mean, I, I've... I've dealt with it before where I, somebody, you know, there some, it was a weird name. They, they had booster boxes for sale. It was a uh, Roaring Skies booster box. I was like, Hey, can you do three, you know, three something, whatever. And I sent them the money, waited and waited and didn't hear back. And then they just blocked me. And then that profile was gone. Um, luckily that brings me into my Next tip is to, when you do send money, absolutely use PayPal GNS or Venmo GNS. You do not want to send them on Cash App or Zelle. Um, those are huge red flags. Um, hell, even if you know the person, um, they can absolutely just turn on a dime and be like, gone. I just looked at you know somebody today complaining about somebody they used to do business with and it was like a $250 Pikachu lot and they've done business with them before and then they just flat out stopped talking to them, gave them excuse after excuse of, oh, my per someone's in the hospital or, you, you know, my car broke down so I can't go to the, the post office for five days or a month, um, which, you know, shit does happen sometimes, but if you're waiting more than like th three or four days, um, absolutely put in like a, 
what's the word I'm looking for, a dispute with PayPal. And if you have your screenshot and show them what's going on, they'll most likely go um, take your side and then that way you can get your money back. If it's somebody that you just, you know, you've never talked to before, uh, another good way to know if they're actually a legit seller is if they have a feedback page. Um, I know like I'm part of like a few Pokemon uh, trade feedback uh, groups and usually, you know, the, if you ask them, they'll most likely give you a feedback page and, you know, hopefully there's like some comments like, hey, great seller, had a good job. It's it's usually if they have a feedback page, it's, it's always mostly good uh, reviews. There could be like one bad one, but usually those issues are fixed. Um, but yeah, definitely ask for a good feedback page and if they have it, then you're all set to go. So say you're looking at the card and you know you want one that's in good condition and you might be iffy, uh, you could ask for a video um, of the card itself um, and have them kind of go around and see if there's any dents or anything. Um, I mean, it's definitely not 100% foolproof, um, but it does help if it's, you know, especially if it's just like a picture at a weird angle or something like that, um, a video would definitely help you further um, you know, justify buying the card. And if you're still not sure, if they don't give you a video and the picture's iffy, um, you can absolutely take a picture of, you know, or screenshot it, send it to the group, a group you're in, and be like, hey, is this card legit? And most of the time, or a lot of the time, everyone will help tell you it's either fake or, um, it's real or they'll just laugh at you and be like what a dumbass you know it <laughs> it can go either way sometimes the community can be very weird when you ask the simplest question and they like freak out of the stupidest shit but um yeah definitely ask for a video ask for um a second opinion on the card you're looking at if you purchase a card and the picture before they send it to you looks great um always check it after you receive it um i know some people uh, will get a card like you know it looks great before my friend this happened to my friend they just send it in a top loader and then they just you know let it go willy-nilly and they will slide out of that top loader and it will fuck up the top of the card or you know whatever end is facing but make sure that the thing is received hell if I were you I'd be safe and take a video of you opening up the envelope or you know bubble mailer and being like okay this is what it looks like and then in case is there is something wrong you can show that they didn't pack the thing well and then you can hopefully hopefully get a refund. Um, if not, I would just, you know, again, go through PayPal again and dispute everything that you can. Honestly, that's really gonna be it for this video. It's not a very long video. Uh, hopefully these tips will help you guys further, you know, expand your Pokemon card collection in a safe way. Um, like I said, there's a lot of dirtbags out there who will try to scam you for every money. But my <laughs> one biggest thing is don't be a fucking idiot and you will be fine. Just do not buy anything willy nilly and hopefully you can save your tr yourself some trouble, headache, and then you can just ultimately avoid those people altogether who give you issues.